Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So, got some cats over here exploring. This is everything I got. I gotta figure out what to do with it all. But, I do wanna show you some of this stuff. I have no idea what's in this box. Let's pull it down and look. Okay, apparently it does have the, the hat drive. Um, hoops and stuff. This is all stabilizer. This is backing and topping. And then it looks like here's some more. And there is some medium cutaway. So that's good. I use medium cutaway. That's a big pack. 250. Woohoo! Um, and there's stuff in here. Let's just see. figure out how to take this off <laughs> I just had to pull it up so um, if I wanted this big thing I could take it and like I said what I was thinking is put it in between the two embroidery machines and put in my computers up here one to run each one the laptop and then whatever runs the other one and then these can hold all of my stuff and it also came with stuff which I'm sure is like all. Um, this is all the stuff that I use. So this has all the um I see some needles and some of the gears for the uh thread thing. Here. We shall explore them together. We do adjourn. You can try to go potty. Yes, yeah, so we got some needles. One needle. And then the rollers for the, um, the feeders. And they said they had, um, this is what they used to thread it. They would put it up and then um, put the thread in there and then pull it through. But I just use air, so we all good there. Um, here's the stuff for the hoop master. That's a thread rack. How much thread's gonna go in there? Don't pull on them, okay? You don't want them to break. Well, this will be good. I will look at this. This is the book for it. So let me look there. Um, Here is some Madeira Thread Guides. Oh, it's got all of them. Oh, it's got two poly neon, and then it's got the, um, the rayons, which they have emergency only because if you don't know rayons, if the darker colors like to bleed a lot. And then they have, eh, they have, I guess I have. Um, here is some more needles and some more thread um, yeah Whoa. more books what baby I broke it. you don't break it okay thanks for telling mama but don't break them this is for mama's thread We're gonna have to put our thread on there. Come over here. Mom. Come. Okay. So in this drawer, there's a bunch mm -hmm. more um, of backing, all different kinds, tearaway, cutaways. They even have black medium tearaway. There's more there. These are bobbins, but 
I like to use magnetic, so these are still, you know, I can still use these for other things. And there's more backing. Soluble stabilizer. Fast frames. Oh. Here's some of the magnetic hoops. More backing. I think we're set on backing for a while. Some more fast frame stuff. Oh, there's some more thread in there. Okay, guys. Ay, ay, ay. Looks more messy in the camera. <laughs> I gotta figure out what to do here. Like I told my husband, um, that over here, these, that one, or, you know, one of them over here with that on top. I'm gonna lose all of this. So I gotta figure out somewhere else for this. But good news is that my closet, I cleaned out a ton of totes out of the closet. So there is a lot of closet space. And so I'm thinking embroider machine, that shelf thingy, and then embroidery machine, and then this wall full of this. <sighs> but will I be able to open that? Yeah, I should be able to open that. And then one of these is going to go somewhere else. I hate to loot. I mean, I don't want to get rid of it because there's such great shelves. But, gotta figure out something. You guys. Too much stuff, not enough space. No. I need to figure this out. Okay, so my original plan was to put those two over there. But, after I measured everything, everything would fit right here. But, obviously, this is in the way of this going all the way over there and that going over And this cat. So, I'm trying to decide on what to do. I don't know what to do. Let's just sit down and think about this. Oh, well, there's where my dress form thing is. Okay, so we've got three shelves. That white shelf can stack up there. So if I leave that there, at least one of them there, and stack that up there, I can move that one. But do I want to leave that there? But then this spot right here, I said maybe I could put my heat press here. No. Kitty. Um. But I'm like, what if I had a little table and put it here for my sewing machine and this is where I make ribbon trim. I don't know, guys. Look at my hair is all greasy looking because I haven't taken a shower yet. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I wish this is what I wish, that I could just take everything out of this room, right? Take it all out. And then put it back in piece by piece where I want it. The problem is, is I got too much stuff, so it's hard to move things with all this stuff. So I've been moving little, like, things that I know. Like, oh, I can move this over here, like, I can move that there. Um, right now it won't get, like, messed up. Like, I took the rack off the door that had the Ooh, cats are growling ribbon on it. So, right now I'm thinking... Cause I was like, as long as I get it in here for right now, and I was gonna move that thing right here because I thought this could be a good place for it. It could hold two computers on it right here and then work those machines right there. But then where's my hate press gonna go? So then I was like, well, if I put it over there and put that there and the heat press next to it and then got a little table for over here, And you guys, I wanted a side table drawer for um, the bedroom out there. And that is one that my computer is on. Bedroom out there. You know what I mean. By the bed. Um, and that is one right there. And I bought that for probably like 20 bucks, 10 bucks. I don't remember. At Habitat for Humanity. I think. 
and I got it just to put my computer on right there so it would be there and I could sew because when you're sewing the computer would go blah 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 so anyway yeah I also still want to get a wooden table for over there instead of like these plastic ones because they bounce hey what's up so I have to figure out spacing this is a smaller bedroom um, I don't know if Evan's bedroom is the same size I think maybe this one might be the little bit bigger one but there's no windows in here because we're in a basement um, but there is a window in his and then in the 3d printing room there is one so I'm trying to figure it out wish me good luck so this is what I've done so far yeah Oh no. So I got this here. But I don't know because I thought if I had them here and had my computers here, right? But maybe I want it up against this wall. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm digging in these drawers and I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I just found in this drawer. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Some of y'all know what it is. A Peggy Stitch Eraser. I've been wanting one of these. I don't even have my glasses. They're probably over there somewhere. I better not have lost them. But yes, I don't even think it's been used because it's still, it's still, yeah, it's it's you guys I feel like it's my birthday which it almost is <laughs> but it was in this bottom drawer I decided to turn it this way this way just it fits my brain better the other way wouldn't work for me you know how things your brain works one way there's these huge hoops in here um, I gotta figure out what I'm going to do so my idea was to put this in here, to get it in here for now, and then put some of these things that I've got in just laying around that were elsewhere and have a home for them in these drawers. So I was like trying to figure out what I want in what drawer, and then I pulled this out. I'm so excited. So current situation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got the side table drawer out, but we are going to go look for a computer. I hope no cats are in there. And this is a mess out here. And the bed's a mess because Charlie slept in it, but I got the side table drawer there. I really like it. I really wanted one. That way, when anyone comes to visit, like... Tressa or if my sister comes back or whatever they have a place to put their phones for charging and you know whatever else so and that would only fit sideways like that because there's not enough room for both but that's okay that's just there because it's there it's not this man is installing this to make I'm installing the Amaya upper right hand system to make this work Fingers crossed, y'all. And it's a mess, but we got it. Sterly cleaned all this up. Look at that. She's amazing. She kind of cleaned it like she cleans a room, though, where she mm. just, like, yeah, she just tucks stuff. Like the. This is my stabilizer. It's going to go in the drawer anyway. Is Journey not there watching TV? No. Hey guys, so it's late. I don't even know what time it is. That clock's off. I have to turn my computer off. I've been cleaning. 1.53. So it is 1.53. I'm making some progress. 
I got that up there. Um, this is going to be my setup for my shirts. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do them right now, but this is what I've done. 2T, 3T, 4T, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12, and 14, 16. And then we go to boys, 2T, 3T, 4T, 5T, 6. And then we'll have the bigger sizes there. I don't know yet. Oh my god. And then I got onesies down here. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. But I got all my thread in. So all of that wonderful thread. Tomorrow, I'm hoping I'll have everything going. And maybe I can stitch out a couple on each machine. I want to test this out, make sure it, you know, does applique and everything good. It stitched everything out really good. Um, the only thing I noticed is that it really needed oiling. So I'm going to do that. Um, there's a lot of stuff I am going to get rid of. Um, so I have some shirts that I had purchased over the years, probably the past, I don't know, four or five years on clearance, like at Walmart and stuff, and there's a stack there, but the ones in here, I think I'm going to give to somebody, and then I'm going to make a donation, like a Goodwill donation bin with some other, you know, just things I, I can part with that I don't need, don't use, and here I probably look atrocious but yeah um, so I'm going to do that because I know there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of like ribbons I don't use there's a lot of I'm just going to stick these inside here there we go a lot of um, different things uh, like there was one. It's not this one. There was one. Oh. So here's some Rick Rack. It was like Tinkerbell. It was 75 cents on clearance. So I have a lot of stuff like that. Like I probably won't use. Um, and the reason I had it before is I used to do a lot of the corset tops. And I used to use it on my necks. And so I got my book. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to set that thing up with awful... Angela actually helped me so thank you so much Angela because it was uh, buttons were unclicked and we tried different things and yeah so finally got it figured out got it working and yeah this is going to be my setup from now on because I have I don't have a lot of room in here so I'm trying to make it work right now it's still a disaster go from the back and look. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just right now trying to put... I'm moving things and then moving things and then moving things, if that makes sense. So I'm moving things and I'm like, oh, I'll put them there for now. And then I'll find out where I'll put them later. Like, I don't like other ribbons here and a ribbons here and I got a ribbon up there um what I might end up doing I don't know honestly I don't know I'll figure it out I got too much stuff and not enough space I got a kitty right here so oh and uh, tomorrow I invited Nathan and Cora over I'm going to make Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to make a turkey breast and mashed potatoes and gravy and all that stuff. God bless me. All the dust in here is making me sneeze. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!